Hi everyone! This is me again, Teacher Will, and we are back for another video of General Mathematics. We are now on the second quarter of our subject focused on Business Mathematics. And for today's lesson, we are going to learn about simple and general annuity. Let's start! This is part 5 video of our discussion on simple and general annuity. Our discussion will focus on deferred annuity. Let's proceed. Define muna natin kung ano nga ba ang deferred annuity. Deferred annuity refers to an annuity that does not begin until a given interval has passed. For a deferred annuity, payments could be set on a later or future date as agreed upon by the contract. Baka na-encounter nyo na yung mga ganitong annuity o ganitong installment na kung saan um, hindi ka pa agad-agad mahuhulo. So halimbawa, um, bumili ka ng cellphone at yung unang charge sa'yo at yung, or yung unang statement of account mo is after 3 months pa. So, yun, yung ganong situation na merong tayo na hindi agad-agad mag-i-start yung pagbabayad ninyo o yung unang payment ninyo o yung unang regular payment ninyo, yun ay tinatawag na deferred anti. So, yung period of deferral naman refers to the time between the purchase of an annuity and the start of the payment for the deferred annuity. Ito yung time na hindi ka pa nagbabayad. O, yun yung bit, ito yung time between na yung araw na pinurchase mo o yung nag-start yung annuity at yung start ng payment ninyo ng deferred annuity. Yan. So, let's have an example para mas maintindihan ninyo. So, una, um, annual payments of 2,500 for 24 years that will start 12 years from now. Yan. So, annual payment siya. Taon-taon ka, magbabayad ng 2,500 for 24 years. Pero, hindi pa yung magsisimula until 12 years from now. Ayun. So, yung uh, period of deferral natin dyan ay yung first year hanggang 11th year. Dahil sa 12th year, dun ka na magi start na magbayad na ng 2,500 until um, 24th year. Ayun. Next naman, monthly payments of 2,000 pesos for 5 years that will start 7 months from now. Ayan. So, monthly yung pagbabayad natin. Ibig sabihin, 12 times a year. So, kung 5 years po yun, meron tayong actual payment na um, 5 years times 12, which is 60 payments na actual. But then, sabi, since deferred annuity siya, sabi dito, hindi ka pa magsisimula magbayad dahil mag start siya 7 months from now. So, meaning, sa 16, uh, 16 months na maguhulog ka, um, sa 7th month ka pa mag-start. So, yung period of deferral mo doon ay yung 1st month until sa 6th month. Amen. Next naman, quarterly payments of 5,000 for 8 years that will start 2 years from now. Ayan. So, kung quarterly, ibig sabihin, apat na beso sa isang taon at kung 8 years yun, ibig sabihin, yung number of actual payments ninyo is 4 times 8, which is a total of 32 actual payments. But, as deferred annuity nga, hindi pa siya mag start until 2 years from now. So, ibig sabihin, in, on your second year ka pa mag start ng payments ninyo. Meaning, kung meron tayong 32 payments at uh, mag start ka pa sa 5th payment mo, o yung start ng second year, 4 quarter year payments mo, yun yung deferred period natin. O sinasabi natin yung buong isang taon. Okay? Ay, bakit pala tinisregard na to? Alam ninyo, dapat ma-master ninyo paano kunin itong period of deferral natin. Kasi later on, kailangan po natin yan sa pagsusolve ng ating deferred annuity. Yeah. Present value of a deferred annuity. So, to compute for the present value, ito po yung formula natin. So, medyo mas mahaba po siya compared sa mga previous na formula na na-present ko sa inyo. R is still the regular payment. Then, J is still the interest rate per period. Then, yung N is still the number of payments. Ang bago lang dito is the K. Yan. Yung K na to will represent the number of conversion periods in deferral or yung ating period of deferral. So, let's have some example of situations or problems that um, represents deferred annuity. Let's have this example. Example number 13. 
Aman decided to buy a pension plan for his retirement. The plan allows him to claim 20,000 pesos quarterly for 5 years starting 3 months after his 60th birthday. What one-time payment should he make on his 45th birthday to pay off his pension plan if the interest rate is 10% compounded quarterly? Ayan. So, on his 45th birthday, gusto niya nang magbayad ng one-time payment para sa pension plan niya. Ngayon, yun yung ating co-compute dates. Uh, gagamitin na natin itong 45th birthday niya as present date ng kanyang annuity. Verify natin kung ito po ba ay isang deferred annuity. Ayan. So, paano natin masasabi na ito ay deferred annuity? Kung makikita nyo, mag start pa 3 months after his 60th birthday na makakatanggap siya ng 20 o makakapag-claim siya ng 20,000 pesos. Hindi agad-agad na after ng 45th birthday niya. Sa 60th birthday niya pa makukuha. So, meron tayong period of deferral doon na hindi ka pa makakatanggap. Ibig sabihin, this is an example of a deferred annuity. Yan. So, identify muna natin kung ano yung mga given natin dito. Ang regular na matatanggap niya after his 60th birthday is 21 at 20,000. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ay yung ating regular payment or R, 20,000. Ngayon, yung term na makakatanggap siya nitong 20,000 na to is 5 years. Yan. And quarterly niya ito matatanggap for 5 years. So, yung ating M is Ayan. Sa deferred annuity naman, talaga naman parehas yung ating um, interest period o oh, yan o, no, quarterly, sa ating payment interval, which is quarterly. Din. Kaya, um, represent na lang natin siya as M. So, M is equal to 4 times quarterly or 4 times a year. Ha, next, mm, ayan, 10%. Siyempre, ang 10% po natin is the interest rate. Ayan, interest rate for compounded quarterly, 10%. Or in decimal, that is 0.10. So, how about yung ating N? O yung number of payments? So, yung, o number of claims na makukuha niya? So, kung quarterly siya at 5 years, ibig sabihin, ang number of claims niya is 20. Ayan. How about yung K? Yung period of deferral natin? Ilang payments yung period of deferral natin? O, sabi dito, um, 45th birthday siya makakapag full paid ng kanyang pension plan. Ngayon, kung sa 60th birthday pa siya makakapag-start mag-claim, so yung period of deferral natin is um, the years between 45 and 60. So that is 15 years, di ba? 15 years yung period of deferral natin. But in a year, apat na beses uh, quarterly yung ating um, interest period. So times 4 po natin yan. So that is 60. 60 yung ating period of deferral. Since mag start pa naman siya on the first quarter ng ating 60th birthday. And, and again, ang hinahanap po natin dito is the present value ng ating ang deferred annuity since ang gusto niya ay hinahanap niya yung one-time payment on his 45th birthday at yung 45th birthday natin ay yung, yun ang ating initial date. And, yan, ito Again, ito po yung ating mga given. And again, ito po yung formula na gagamitin po natin. Ayan siya. So, ang kailangan na lang po natin dyan ay yung J. Paano kunin yung J? Same pa rin po, that is the quotient of our interest period and the um, M, yung ating M. So, pagdadivide lang natin, J is equal to 0.10 over 4. Ayan. 0.025. So, yan po yung J na gagamitin natin dito sa ating formula. Okay? Yan. Pwede na tayo mag-substitute sa ating formula. So, paano po yun? P is equal to, ayan, regular payment po muna tayo. Lagyan natin ng um, parenthesis para alam natin na ito yung magkakasama. So, regular payment is 20,000. Yan siya. Multiplied. Okay. Nagyan natin siya ng parenthesis ulit. 1 minus 1 plus, ang J natin is 0 0.025 raised to the sum of K and N. Ibig sabihin, ipag-aad natin yung 60 at yung 20. Ayan. Over, J pa rin, 0 0.025. Ayan. 
parenthesis natin, minus, ayan, minus po yun, no? minus. Uh, again, halit natin parenthesis, regular payment na 20,000, multiply natin sa 1 minus 1 plus J pa rin, 0 0.025, raised to negative K. Ang K natin is 60. Ayan. Over 0 0.025. Ayan. Okay. So, ganun lang. Then, pwede na natin siyang idiretso sa ating calculator. Parenthesis muna, 20,000 times open parenthesis, fraction, 1 minus, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.025. Close parenthesis natin yan. Then, um, erase natin siya sa negative ng sum ng 60 and 20. So, 60 plus 20, that is um, 80. Tama, 80. Raise to negative 80 na natin siya. Over, po, ay, over 0 0.025. Close parenthesis. Ayan, dalawa. Kasi since dalawa yung open parenthesis natin doon sa una. Then, minus, again, natin ang minus, open parenthesis ulit, 20,000 times, open parenthesis, um, fraction, 1 minus, open parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.025, raised to negative 60. Ray over 0 0.025. Parenthesis. Ayan. So, yung ating present value na po is, ito na siya, 70,863 and 21 cents. Ayan. Ayan. So, yan yung one-time payment niya na babayaran on his 45th birthday. Next naman tayo. Example number 14. In purchasing appliances, a credit card company offers deferred payment options. A cardholder plans to buy a smart television set with monthly payments of 7,000 pesos for one year. The payments will start at the end of three months. How much is the cash price of the television set if the rate is 8.1% compounded monthly? And, so, syempre, i-verify po muna natin kung ito po ba ay isang deferred annuity. And meron naman na tayong um, hint dito na binanggit na nag-o-offer ng deferred payment yung credit card company. So, alam na, automatic na dapat alam niyo na po na ito ay isang deferred annuity. Ayan. So, bakit ba mahalaga na kailangan natin bine-verify muna yung problem? Kasi, magkakaiba po yung formula na ginagamit natin sa different situation ng annuity. Okay? So, sige. I-identify na natin yung mga given. According to the offer ng smart television set, ang monthly payments niya o yung regular payment niya for a year is 7,000. So, R natin is 7,000. And again, monthly payment po siya at compounded monthly siya. So, ibig sabihin ng M po natin is 12. Kasi 12 times a year po siya. Then, ang term lang po is 1 year. 1 year lang. Then, ano pa ba? Ang ating interest rate dito, compounded monthly, is 8.1%. Or that is 0.081 um, in decimal. Ano pa ba yung mga given natin dito? Yung kanyang period of deferral. Ayan, sabi dito, mag start daw yung pagbabayad niya at the end of 3 months. Sa end ng 3 months. So, ibig sabihin, on the third month yung pag start niya ng pagbabayad. So, meron tayong dalawang months na hindi, hindi pa magsisimula yung ating uh, monthly payment. So, ibig sabihin, ang period of deferral natin is Okay? Yan. And, ano ulit ang hinahanap sa ating problem? Sabi dito, ang tanong dito, ang magkano daw po yung cash price? Da, ang nabanggit ko sa inyo pag tinat ang tinatanong sa problem ay yung cash price, meaning present value ng annuity yung hinahanap po natin. So, yan. P yung ating hinahanap. Okay? So, solve na po natin. And again, ito yung mga given natin. So, yung number of actual payments natin pala is 12 actual payments. Kasi nga, 12 times a year, tas 1 term yun. Then, ang formula na gagamitin natin ay still ito po ang ating present value ng deferred annuity. 
Yan. So, ang kailangan na lang po natin dito na wala ay yung J natin. Madali lang naman po kunin ang J. Ide-divide lang natin yung ating interest rate. Yan. J is equal to J is equal to interest rate 0.081 over sa ating um, M, which is 12. Yan. Sige. That is equal to 0.00675. Ayan. So, yan na po yung J natin na isa substitute so, sa ating formula. Okay. Start na po natin. P is equal to, open parenthesis natin, 7,000 times 1 minus 1 plus J. Ang J natin is 0 0.00675. Raise to negative, ang K po natin is 2. Ayan. 2 plus, ang, ang N naman natin is 12. Ayan, over J pa rin, 0 0.0675. Ayan. Okay, minus, huwag kakalimutan, i-minus pa po. Ito naman, um, 7,000 times 1 minus 1 plus J pa rin, raised to negative K. Ang K natin is over J, 0 0.0675. 75, makit doon. At na-double ito, huwag rin natin. Ayan. Then, close parenthesis natin. Ayan. Then, pwede na po natin i-direcho sa ating calculator. Correction lang natin. Dalawang zero pala yun. Point zero zero. Point zero zero pala yun. Um, open parenthesis, 7,000 times uh, fraction 1 minus 1 plus point zero zero six 75 raised to um, negative 14. Ayan. Kasi 2 plus 12 is 14. Then, 0 0.00675. Close parenthesis. Ayan, dalawa. Minus, open parenthesis ulit natin, 7,000 times, open parenthesis, fraction, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.00675. Close parenthesis, raised to negative 2 over 0 0.00675. Yan. So, yung ating cash price ng television set is 79,352 and 84 cents. Yan. So, ganun lang po siya. And again, ang unit po natin is peso. Yan. So, ganun lang naman kamitin yung formula natin ng duper dan. Yung pinaka feeling ko ay malilito lang kayo dito ay sa pagkuha ng period of the era. So, mag-practice po kayo o ay balik-balikan ninyo kung paano natin nakukuha itong period of the era natin. Okay po? So, yung expected output ninyo sa module ninyo ay yung guided practice 1 at yung guided practice 2. So, yung guided practice 1, yun po yung mga problems that represent simple ordinary arithmetic. While sa ating guided practice 2, yun yung mga problems representing yung ating um, general ordinary entity. Uh, make sure po na kopyahin nyo muna yung problems bago nyo isulat yung inyong mga sagot. So, problem, answer, problem, answer. Ganun po yung format natin. And, ang saan po ito isusulat sa inyong activity notebook. Huwag na po kayo magsulat sa papel kapag magkasagot kayo sa inyong module. And then, after that, pwede na kayo. For sure, kayang-kaya nyo nang sagutan yung ating summative assessment. Meron sa mga printed, uh, ganun po, show your solution sa inyo, sa yellow paper. Well, sa mga digital, magsagot na lang po kayo sa ating messenger bot. At then, yung performance task ninyo, um, madali lang naman yun dahil magkahanap lang kayo ng mga situation that um, represents o yung na-apply yung anity. Then, gagawa kayo ng problem, um, sample problem, um, any type of anity natin. Okay po? Then, syempre, show nyo yung solution o yung sample solution po ng problem na yun. Um, that will be all ng ating discussion about anities. Well, thank you everyone for listening. Again, this is Teacher Will. Bye! Thank you.